to get off a human whilst it's stormy. After the fires, what have we moved to? Well, it's been raining non-stop for a week and today the storm has arrived. Mm -hmm. Everything is blowing away. It is hurricane season. Although hilariously, unlike last year, because nothing we have is tarpaulin, everything seems to be fairly sturdy. We've bolted it all together. Salem has decided against every option of movement. And Fenton is about to do the same as soon as he gets the option. And we are going to prep all the stuff for jamming and jarring. And then I'm going to go and run the still, I think, I suppose, if it calms down a little bit. There we go. There's my sofa pups. So we put two sofas in and we never get to use them. Yeah, I think that's the order of the day. Sweet fuck all. So what else happened? Something happened. I think that's sort of it, really. Nothing, nothing too heavy this week. Just spending money on medicine. Yep. Dog medicine and ants medicine. And good, good drugs. I've been high oh, all week. Oh my super high. Just call me Mari but super high. Everything is blowing away, but it's not chained down.
that's one issue sorted. You can see the water has managed to get everywhere, waterlogging all of this, which means we have too much water going on the trees, which gives them root rot and makes them weak, and then they fall out. But that should take everything away. Don't know whether it will. They did last year, so you can only hope for the best. And the, the black plastic, all those ideas that we thought was clever, there's a very difference between thinking that something's clever and actually being clever because it didn't work. Well, it may look like one job, jo job done, but we live on a farm in Mount Portugal, so this is trench one out of 16, and the others are bigger, but not next to trees, so less of an issue. Time to keep digging. Somebody has found a new favourite game, which is running in the mud, which isn't good for a dog that doesn't like to be washed. She's not going to enjoy the outcome of this. But I'm going to have to rinse her paws in her undercarriage later, and there's nothing we can do about it. stream of the day, which is the one which is an absolute problem child to do things with. So this is the main central runoff for the whole farm, which drops into our friend's land over there. It starts way up there in the hill. And our neighbour owns the land directly just over our side. And it starts just behind his land, flows through his land, throws into ours and our thing. And he's a friend, he's the guy who helps us do all the goats and everything. And I always forget, because we've had long conversations about sorting out things and things like that. When he's actually here, I always get to collar him and say, do you mind if I cut a big trench through the middle of your land so I can run all the water off without it flooding? I've been here for a year, and I've known that guy for almost the whole time, and I still forget to ask him this winter specifically, but last winter I was like, hmm, you idiot. This year I will remember. Probably. Oh, also, look at all the boar damage. Boars are loving this bit here. It's lovely and muddy. Pigs in mud. Standing water looks like when you cut it off the field. That stream comes from nowhere. Just comes from the land here until I can cut a whole one through because everything just soaks through, which is why, as you see, as soon as the rains come, this is boom, green and the goats are back to grazing and not having to be fed as much hay. But it's a lot of water. And I have a feeling that maybe underneath this, might be clay base, but I don't know. Because it does seem to stand well. Might be a heavy clay soil. I have not done soil tests. But these two are very happy chasing everything around. Salem, it's going to get your paws even dirtier.
it is a beautiful sunny Monday morning which is lovely because we've had I think seven or ten days of just straight rain strong winds storm weather basically which hasn't been too bad because I've been on some very strong painkillers I was prescribed by the doctor and they made me very very high <laughs> it made me drowsy and sleepy and I finished the course yesterday or the day before so I'm feeling good no more back pains I'm still supposed to be taking it easy with lifting things today's a good day for some outdoor stuff remember the avocado and the mango tree that i bought well it is time to get those bad boys in the ground here they are they've had a rough time in the storm they have fallen over many many times but they are looking strong tom and i have picked out an area that we want to plant them in and I'm just going to put one here and then one further down which is sort of just at the front of the main house not directly in front but I want them close enough to the house so that I can really sort of look after them and probably also cover them for when the frost hits so let's get planting This ground is so soft from all the rain that we've had, it is the perfect time for digging. going to dig this up. <laughs> Say it with me, 
say I will not dig this up. Come on, repeat after me. I, I will, will not, not dig this up. Good girl. <laughs> Don't you dare, you finicky, finicky dog. Finicky, finicky, finicky dog. Finicky snake. Right, next. down in the veg garden. I think I'm going to dig up my sweet potatoes. These have been in the ground since like April. So I'm pretty sure that they're ready for harvest. Small patch of sweet potato here. I think there were nine slips that went in here. So yeah, I think I'm going to dig that up. Are you gonna help me, bud? Are you gonna help mama? You're kind of in the way though. Excuse me. We could just move your butt that way. There you go. <laughs> Guys, you're actually just sort of in the way now. This is where your digging skills could come in useful. Mind. Oh, thank you for your kisses. You are so nice. Okay, do you want to dig, bud? Do you want to dig? Dig. Yeah, good boy. Dig. Yes, good boy. Dig. Yeah, good boy. Dig. 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 Good bud. Dig. Dig. Such a good boy. Dig. Good boy. Dig. Salem, you're stopping him from digging. <gasps> good boy. Look, you got one. You got one. Yes. Yes. Good bud. Well done. Yes. Go on. Dig. Dig. Keep digging. Keep digging. Go on, bud. Keep digging. Yes, go bud. Dig. Dig. Go 
boy. Such good digging. Such good digging. Good boy. Good boy. Dig. Dig. Do you want to learn how to dig, Salem? Good boy. Dig. Dig. Look, bud. Look, look. Dig. Look, dig. Yes. Good boy. Yes. Well done. Dig. Salem. Salem, look. Look, Salem. Here. Dig. 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 Good. Yes. Good boy. Dig. Dig for gold, guys. Good boy. Well done. You got another one. Yes. Good boy, Fred. Dude, you're so good at digging. Yes. Dig. Good boy. Look at these sweet potatoes that you're digging. You are so smart. You are so smart. Good boy. Good bud. Look at all of these. Good boy. Yes, good girl. Dig. Dig. Wow. Good girl, Salem. Dig. Dig. Everybody dig. Dig. Look at all this. Look. Dig. Dig. Yes. Look. Yes. Good girl. Dig. Dig. Good boy. Look, bud. You got one. Yes. Dig. Dig. Salem, look. Here. Dig. Dig. Yes. One more. Dig. Dig. Oh my gosh, you guys are so good at digging. So good. Oh guys, look at that one. That's a good one. Yeah, good job. <gasps> look, there's more here. Go on, dig, dig. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Oh, I think you just threw one. <laughs> good girl, Salem, you got one. You got one, well done. Go on, dig, dig. Dig here, dig here, there's four. Oh, good girl, you got another one, well done. Well done. Well done. Good job, everybody. Oh, you found some more, bud, well done. Look, you got one, you got one, well done. Yeah. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna have to get the fork. Okay, guys, I think that's everything. One. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Good girl! Look, you got one! Yeah, there you go! Oh go! Teaching Fenton to dig on command is a blessing and a curse at the same time. But these are all the sweet potatoes that we got. Fairly happy with that. There's some chunkers in there. Very nice! Well done you two! You did so good! You did so good! You helped Mama dig all of that up! Good job! Good kitties! Fenton, you can stop digging now if you want. Well done! It looks like you dug your own graves. <laughs> well done everyone! Such good doggos. Sometimes. Let's give this to the chickens. <laughs> hey kitties, should we go get a snack? Should we go get some water and a snack? Come on kitty cats! Yeah! Here's a one. Fenton still wants to gig. Gig? Dig. Go 
Alright, silly poos, let's go get some water and a snack. Come here.